SUV major Mahindra and Mahindra has just showcased its brand new platform called New IQ. Well, it's brand new, but the products based on this platform will start coming around 2027 or so. But with this new platform, the company is thinking big, thinking global, and also some new ideas we will see in the coming years. But what are those? What, what is the larger strategy? To tell us more about it, we have with us R. Velu Sami, who is the president of Mahindra and Mahindra's automotive business. Velu, thanks for sparing your time. Congratulations nice on this. First thing, the new IQ. How, do you, how did you name it? What's the rationale behind this name? So it is both logical uh, uh, reasoning, and also it brings in certain competitive advantage to us. Uh, so therefore it becomes intelligent. Uh, a new platform, as an intelligent platform. Uh, what is intelligent in it is uh, a vehicle has three compartments. So you have a front engine crash compartments, um, you have a passenger compartments and you have a luggage Whatever you do, the passenger compartment and the engine, uh, the luggage compartment, you have to be absolutely on top of it. And you have an engine compartment that needs for packaging the engine, plus also it needs a crash space, crash space, uh, crash and crash space. Both, both you need it. Uh, you needed some innovation. One of them have to go down, right? And most likely the front. Uh, from the firewall to the front has to go down if you have to liberate the space for it. The problem with the compact vehicles, you don't have a second row. Uh, the leg room of the second row is not adequately available. As I said, you need about uh, 937 millimeters. It is, you need the stretch of your hip to toe, yeah? That's three feet. Um, and uh, we wanted to maintain between the same, uh, we wanted to maintain between the 4.3 and the uh, just sort of below, little bit below 4 meters, we wanted to maintain it because we don't want to change. So we, we thought the wheelbase should be the highest wheelbase. So, so that you so maintained the same? We, we maintained the wheelbase, right. which means that we, we cannot compromise on the luggage space. So which means where we can, we have to find innovations is how do we get the crash structure that gives the global uh, GNK. So basically keep the front overhang hang as less as, as short as possible. Yes, but that gives you the uh, the good approach angle as uh -huh, well. Yes. And the good look of the SUV as long as the wheel is very closer to the bumper. But meeting the crash norm will make it a little bit more challenging. It is it? A challenging. So we found that trident structure that I showed you, twin trident structure that I showed it in the presentation. Um, also the uni ring structure for the side. That made it possible to liberate that space. So that's the pattern that we have applied it. Yeah. So, so, and in talking about patents, how many patents have you filed? So about process? 101 patents we have applied on this vehicle. Some of it are global patents as well. It's all global. All patents. global. Yeah. All good. And in terms of, uh, you talk about crash test. You, uh, uh, five star rating has been your new benchmark. You're pretty confident of them to be there, be in cap. Yes, right, of course, it has to be tested and certified. Mm. Um, we are very confident. <laughs> okay, and this one, uh, as I said, uh, it, this has uh, both 4, four meter plus 4.3 to be precise. As we said, and it has a, a just sub 4 meter and under 4.3 meters. And, and this will be the first platform which is both uh, EV and ice frame, right? Yes. So, uh, in terms of the your global ambitions, uh, Velu, I mean, I, I can understand that, uh, as you hinted also, the first uh, product on this platform will come somewhere in the region of 27, year 27. Of yeah, starting 2027, uh, calendar year, uh, which Rajesh say, is yes. the... Okay. And, uh, and in, uh, because you are, you are, you have also benchmarked some global competitors. Uh, okay, barring the brand part aside, in terms of product, uh, what are the two, three key uh, pillars where you are really focusing on to really uh, get a, let's say, place in the table? You saw it, the, you need the leg space. Mm. Uh, for the second row, leg space is the most compromised one. But India is, a, a, a culturally, we live, to, we live at a family, not a single uh, family, right? So it's not about driver or co-driver seat, it is about the rear seat. And you need to get that one. And the second thing is, the ground clearance in India is very, very important. 
that too, uh, when you have a common uh, electric vehicle and also the ICE vehicle, the ground clearance matters a lot. We need about 225 millimeters or between 220 to 225 millimeters. And that's the reason we, uh, we kept the ground clearance high, which means as a, the roof line goes up and, and therefore you need to have the best ride and handling. Uh, you need to have the five link suspension. Uh, which we explained. Uh, we also need a damper to control the body roll, which we explained Darwin C. That's the technology we are bringing in. So the crash structure, tri twin trident crash structure, uniring crash structure, okay. the okay. filing suspension, and the Darwin C damper are the four key elements of our innovation that brings and gives the spacious vehicle uh, as well as uh, the the passenger compartment being higher than any segment, any cost in that segment. And uh, talking about the powertrains, uh, you'll dip into the, your existing uh, portfolio of powertrain yeah, for this you have or you will develop any new powertrain, uh, uh, that's most competitive, uh, so we bring in that uh, powertrain. Yeah. And in terms of, now we are talking SUV, so will you have uh, all-wheel drive versions as well? Yes, uh, in the compact segment, I'm not sure how much is the sales of all-wheel drive, I should uh, check with the NAL. Uh, but most people are very happy with the front wheel drive. Uh, but of course, for the uh, enthusiast, adventure enthusiast, we do have provisions for all wheel drives. And weight, did you kind of really try to push the uh, envelope when it comes to light weighting? Yeah. And light weighting is one of the biggest, biggest effort in this vehicle. Uh, stiffness is the highest stiffness we have to achieve it. So we played with the high material. stiffness in your Mahindra portfolio uh, or at the uh, industry level your product. So we'll reserve it for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a lunch mm. today. Right. So. Your objective would be to set a benchmark. That's correct. Right. And Belu, I mean, uh, we have entered into a new phase in terms of, let's say, India progressing towards uh, adopting biofuels. Ethanol E20 has kicked in. There are also a lot of discussions around it. I mean, who better than someone like you to kind of clear the air for us in terms of... Can let's... we do that other time? Because today we will focus on this. You want to focus yes, on this today? Yes. All right. We'll have another, but overall, you say, I mean, in terms of the vehicles uh, that are there in the market, there ha will there be some interventions uh, required for that? No. 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 Okay. On the, on the uh, E20, right? No. Oh, all right. Great. Uh, but we'll have a de detailed discussion on that uh, subject later. But on, on this occasion, uh, Velu, best wishes. Thank you.